Alright guys, welcome back. Ep ooh. Episode 3. Episode 3. In case you couldn't tell. I did a little mining last episode. And a little bit in between. Last episode we finished, we tried to bait this cave. And the terrifying up there. And today, in the theme of yesterday, or with, with the theme of yesterday, I want to clear up these edges of the ravine, figure out what I want to do with them, and then work on this overhang as well as the little details, the cranes, a road, like walk pathways, as well as terraforming the very, very top bit. Figuring this out, probably I'll probably just cover that up, but because raw stone on the top don't look great. So, first order of business, I need to clear out this dirt. Honestly, I could just completely block this off, and I think I might because I don't want this ravine to be too long. I think this is the perfect amount of space. I don't want more necessarily. So yeah, I think I'm going to just block this off, cover it up on the top. I might do something with it later. I don't know. I'm going to grab some materials back at my base. Get back once I've grabbed those. First, swap out all the blocks that aren't stone. So, first, I need to, first, first, actually, I need to remove all this dirt, because I have the waterfall, so I don't need you to get up anymore. Okay. Oh, I forgot, there was a, supposed to be a crane, I put it, like, dude, don't even think about taking my stuff, okay? I wish there were, like, specific mobs that you could say couldn't grief. Like, Endermen can't grief, but Creepers can. Because Endermen griefing is just annoying. But, like, Creeper griefing is more part of the game. At least my opinion. Anyway. Alright, so I wanna just... I'm gonna mine all this part out. Flatten this up, like I said, I think in the first episode. And I'll be back once that's done, I think. Back to game. I'm baffled! Sorry for the frame rate. I, I haven't messed with it to make it run better, but I just ate, like, five rotten flesh in a row without, without getting hunger. Oh my god! Oh, I really wish I was recording. I thought it was broken for a second. What even is that probability? It was like four or five in a row. I, someone needs to tell me what the pro because it's like one in ten, I think. One in ten is normal. One in a hundred is twice in a row. One in a thousand three times? Is it like, do you add, I don't know if you add zero every time, but still, what? That's never happened to me before. Three in a row hasn't happened to me before, but five does? Uh, oh my god, that is crazy. Jeez. Legitimately, I am Baffled. <laughs> anyway. Great segue, I guess, into this. I. God, that's still crazy, though. I'm. <sighs> anyway! Maybe it's. Maybe it's like 2 and 10. I don't know. But. This. I. Worked on this. Merging it up. Also flatten this out. Um, uh, right now, I'm just working, and I'll, oh, 
But I did, um, I brought this path around just a bit more. Like, and I did little indentations, like with the cave, sort of in these lower cut areas, like I talk about. Um, and then, every time, <laughs> every time I eat one, I'm like, mm -hmm, wait, no, oh. Anyway. <laughs> so, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I brought this out a bit and did the, like, merge texture with, just with cobblestone. I haven't added slabs or stairs or anything. I'll figure that out later. But, um, my next plan I'm working on, or my, the next thing I'm working on right over here is figuring this out. My idea is, like I said, I want to have it sort of crumbling over. And if rocks and dirt were crumbling off of the edge of something it would be, like, the rocks would sort of, like, when you dig a hole in sand, the further down you dig, some sand on the walls falls down and sort of fills in the bottom. So, like this, the dirt would probably be, let me hop over here for an example, the dirt would probably be, like, falling down, sort of, and I'll probably replace, yeah, ugh, this topish layer with dirt just so it's greener and that does help because then it's a thinner layer it's easier to make a crumbling over effect so I'm gonna break I'm gonna mine probably these two three layers up all along here and get it thinned out then I think I'll come back I think oh <laughs> alright guys um Back, I sort of thought about, I cut this down, I can show you up at the top, I think there's a skeleton, but I should be fine, I only have 12 levels, doesn't really matter, ha, idiot, idiot, whoa, but, uh, I sort of, I only did the um, right side, and I'll have to watch out for that, but only on the right side, and I haven't done it over there because I'm still figuring that out, but um, I've done it on the right side. It's just like a really easy general gradient hill sort of thing, and I'll have to fix that too at some point, but um, also, I'm walking on a little path. Replacement of the dirt one, and... Um, I thought I could use um, a design similar to uh, I saw a, a like Green's one of his really old videos on like ravine or ravine town or something. So I'm like, hey, that actually looks like kind of cool. So I thought I'd copy it just with and actually I kind of messed it up, but it's fine. I thought I'd sort of use a similar ish design, and so that's what this is. I tried to use normal logs, but they were too just too dark compared to the really bright oak wood. But I think they look nice. Um, this is a little sharp. I could do like that. And then, where are the other sharp back? A slab on top. That's nice. And then, like, solid. Oh, I can't because we're slabs, but yeah, that looks fine. And then maybe give it like a support. Supports connecting it. Oh my god, that scared me way more than it should have. Jesus, okay, I, I need to sleep. Christ, that scared me. So, like I was saying. I've been working on this sort of design, and I wanted to anchor this guy in a bit more. Like it's fortified into there. Yes. That looks okay. Like that? Yeah. Just looks like it's stuck in there. It's not moving. And so I want to make 
a few more of these. And I can just sort of, I want to show you guys the process I go through. That, I'm pretty sure, is fine. This one already has one, right? It's right there. Um, nom, 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 um, nom, 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 Eat some rotten flesh. Yummy. Fall off the edge of my ravine. Do this all over again while listening to nice Minecraft music. Make the exact same mistake twice. God, I hate water. I need an elytra. Alright! Uh, that's a little tall, though. I could... I could do this, flatten this out, and then do that. Like, flatten that out around it, and then do that. Yeah, that looks a little better. Okay, so I think I need one, like... Let me just mark them here... And here, I don't know, actually, I might do it here, because that sort of messes with, that one being there messes with uh, this sort of area, and I'm not getting that back. Awesome. Today's episode is going to be a little shorter. Not going to lie, but it's going to be chock full Ow. of fun good times. Alright, so I think for, oh, nice! Two in a row, that's not that rare, but it's still pretty rare. Anyway, um, I think I want to, I want to get rid of you, but also I think, um, my plan for this episode, the rest of this episode is probably to, to finish up these, this walkway, give it a little texture, a texture, probably thicken it up so it's more fortified, then do the details on this overhang and I think oh no and also get gradient get a gradient up and also get a gradient uh, I really wish I had feather falling and get a gradient of the cobble smooth stone as a base, cobblestone to andesite, I think. But also, uh, like the uh, other two caves, I'll dot in a teensy eensy weensy little tidbit of stone bricks. So I'll keep working on this and I'll bring you guys in periodically for those status updates. Alright! Ta da um yeah woo all pretty up so I finished up texturing with andesite as well as let me hop down here or, yeah down here yum 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 there's still a, a lot of scaffolding around here that I have to clean up but this is my plan. I haven't put in the, uh, like, wooden, wood, bleh, wooden sort of cranes or any of those pieces yet. I've just done terraforming and, what terraforming and some leaves and this path. But I wanted to show you guys just real quick here. I used, for the leaves, I used birch and acacia, because they're just my favorite colors. I did sort of run out of acacia down here, so that's why they're just birch, but clear this last bit up. But I just like the colors. And I was having a bit of trouble. It looked really bland, and the moment I added some pretty, pretty weaves, it looked pretty nice. It Terraforming on the very outside is still bland. And I need to fix this area. I'm still sort of ignoring the river for now. That'll be much later. But I at least want to get the inside sort of 
layer, but that's the cave. Um, I want to have, let me go thank you, some cranes, uh, like, I'm not using how long that is, but I want to, let me hop down here so I can show you better, but I want to have some cranes move, like, sort of somewhat adjacent to the caves, like, a miner can mine the stone and ores and stuff, and then a crane pulls it up. Like, there could be one here. Turn on the volume, it's kind of loud. There could be one there, and this is going to be a quarry at some point. So I'm, I'm just not doing that now. But, like, there'd be one probably right there that pulls up stone that's brought out from these two guys. And it goes up, and then there's a cart that pulls it up, and whatever. This water is going to change. I'm going to put like a ladder sort of thing. Uh, just because, you know, that's not very aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing right now. But that's that for now. I think I'm just going to add in the rest of those wooden bits. And that should be the ravine. Done! Just... Awesome. When I first started it, I did not expect to finish it. It was very daunting at first, and so I'm very excited that I'm finishing it up. I do still have to do a little andesite terraforming around this edge, which I'll also do in a minute. But, yeah, once I uh, finish up cranes, I think that should be to a wrap on today's episode. So I think... I don't know if we've done a time lapse today, so might as well, I didn't do that, but might as well hop into time lapse mode, and I'll see you guys. things I want to ask you guys here. First, last episode, we tamed a cat, and that cat does not have a name. That's an issue I need to fix. So, leave name suggestions down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think of this shorter-ish video, if it's too long still, or if, you know, it is getting a little short. I just, first episode was really long, and so I sort of want to get that nice sweet spot I think that's it if you liked the video then like the video relatively straightforward if you're new around these parts then hit that big red button in the bottom right hand of your screen and I will see you in the next episode thanks for watching